Hello everyone, it's the Wizard Dude again. Time to make another review video. Told you I would. This one was suggested by Caitlin Sparkle, so yeah, I'll do Pinocchio. Disney's Pinocchio. I really like the movie. It's Disney's second movie, and well, it's kind of dark compared to Snow White, and for good reason. It's based on Carlo Collodi's The Adventures of Pinocchio, which was an Italian fairy tale. And since it's in Italy, the Pinocchio's World Prankster's Paradise kind of reflects that in the town, but not so much in the other areas. So, Pinocchio's a nice kid who really wants to be a real boy, but he's a puppet at first. First, because Mr. Geppetto, his father, made him. And Jiminy Cricket's arriving, and supposedly he's going to be his conscience when the Blue Fairy makes Pinocchio come alive. That Blue Fairy's a good figure. Or for a mother, or a female figure in general. So, Geppetto sends Pinocchio off to school, but oh no, he runs into a fox named Jay Worthing Honest John Foulfellow, and then, and a cat named Gideon too, who want to sell him to Stromboli, the puppet master. I Got No Strings On Me is a good song, on which Pinocchio sings with some puppets, but Stromboli but there's a dark purpose behind it. A strong bully keeps him in a birdcage, and when he gets too old, he threatens to make him firewood. So, I don't really like strong bully for that. He's kind of abusing his puppets. And then when Jiminy finds Pinocchio, oh, he starts lying, and his nose grows long. He said that two green monsters caught him in a sack and tried to eat him, which obviously isn't true. The Blue Fairy even says it. A lie is just going to grow and grow until it's as plain as the nose on your, your face. Well, Pinocchio and Jiminy kind of learned their lesson there. And the Blue Fairy helps them just that one time, but she warns them, which is a good lesson for kids, a boy that isn't good might just as well be made of wood. But then comes in the Red Lobster Inn, Foulfellow and Gideon are with the coachman, whom I'm kind of scared of that coachman. Especially that face he s makes when he said they never come back. As boys. Yeah, kind of creepy looking smile. So, Foul Fellow and Gideon fool Pinocchio into thinking he's sick, and the only cure is a vacation, so they send him to Pleasure Island, an amusement park where, yeah, the boys get to smoke, drink, have fun, eat, be a glutton, even hit each other, play pool. Jiminy's kind of concerned about Pinocchio, but as usual, the island has a dark purpose because Jiminy finds out that behind that one door, all the boys have been turned into donkeys. Is for some, I don't know how he did it, but Lampwick turns into a donkey next, and it was kind of creepy to watch. I'm kind of scared of it. But then Pinocchio gets away without turning into a donkey because he stopped smoking and drinking, and he just got by with ears and a tail. That's it. And so Geppetto is revealed after they get back to town on Pinocchio and Jiminy to have been looking for Pinocchio, but got swallowed by the great whale Monstro. So Pinocchio ties a rock to his tail and goes down in the ocean to try to find Monstro. And Geppetto was happy to see his son, but surprised he had eaten the donkey ears and the tail. So then they went in Monstro, who looks intimidating, but I'm not scared of that guy. They make him sneeze and all, but then Monstro comes after them and the raft, and Pinocchio supposedly dies. Man, that isn't good. But when they get back home, the Blue Fairy says that Pinocchio has proven himself to be good all the way through. So Pinocchio becomes a real boy. And so Geppetto, Owen, oh, and Pinocchio celebrate, whilst Jiminy becomes an official conscience. And then he goes to, Di somehow, like in Kingdom Hearts, he goes to Disney Castle to serve to write in the journal and live to tell the tale. Nice. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy this review. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And do keep those suggestions for reviews coming. I will get to them. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time. Later!